let's build some budget pillow fort EDH. Hey guys, it's Shannon the Timmy from the Trinosphere, where Timmy, Johnny, and Spike battle over all things EDH. Today we got another guild kit upgrade deck tech. That's where we take one of the Ravnica Legion's guild kits and we convert it into an EDH deck list. We run one of every single card in that guild kit, and then we add EDH cards, all costing a dollar or less. Be sure to like if you enjoy these kinds of deck techs. It lets us know to keep working on these. And subscribe if you want to see the gameplay episode coming out next week that uses these budget lists. Let's dive into the deck. Of the legendary creatures available in the Azorius Guild Kit, we're going with Lavinia of the Tenth. She's a 5 mana 4-4 four, four with protection from red, and when she enters the battlefield, detains each non-land permanent your opponent's control with CMC 4 or less. So how do we have an effect that can slow our opponents down and grind them to a halt, especially when paired with flickering effects? Flickering effects being instants or sorceries or enter the battlefield triggers that cause one of our creatures to leave play, but then immediately return to the battlefield, triggering its own enter the battlefield effect again. So how can we win when we're playing Pillow Fort in Azorius? So if we can stall long enough and grind our opponents down to a halt, we can win with cards like Approach of the Second Sun and Azor's Allocutors. Additionally, with our formidable Air Force and Flyer's Matters cards, Dovescape can amass us an army of derpy birds in which we can rain death and poop down on our enemies. So let's take a deeper dive into each of the categories of this list, which includes Flicker, Flyer's, Removal, Draw, and Utility. Let's take a look at the Flicker effects. We have Aether Mage's Touch, Dramatic Rescue, Beldar Guardian, and Flicker Wisp. There's nothing like hitting a Sunblast Angel off of an Aether Mage's Touch. Additionally, we have Angel of Condemnation, Eerie Interlude, Ghostly Flicker, Miss Meadow Witch, and Momentary Blink. These flicker effects can be used at instant speed, which allows us to dodge targeted removal, as well as threaten our opponents when they consider attacking us. Our formidable air force is comprised of Cloudfin Raptor, the deploy half of Depose Deploy, Esperia the Inscrutable, Sky Hassar, Skymark Rock, Sphinx of Foresight, and the Warden half of Warren Warden. Additional defenses for deterring attacks include Hover Barrier, Sphinx of New Prov, Stoic Ephemera, and Wind Reaver. And to buff our formidable air force, we have some Flying Matters cards including Windstorm Drake, Spirit of the Spires, and Pride of the Clouds. These Anthem effects will give us the advantage if Dovescape comes down and starts supplying our opponents with derpy bird armies of their own. For ramp, we're going to be running Azorius Key Rune, Azorius Locket, Azorius Signet, and Kepnet's Monument. For removal, we have some that are attached to creatures so that we can flicker them. We have spell versions and we have counters. For removal on a stick, we have Azorius Justicar, Banisher Priest, Fiend Hunter, Liev Sky Knight, and Sunblast Angel. All excellent flicker targets. More traditionally, we're going to be running Azorius Charm, Azorius Guild Mage, Citywide Bust, Plumes of Peace, Sky Tether, Summary Judgment, and Swords to Plowshares. We can use most of these to eliminate threatening creatures or to send a message to anyone who's stupid enough to attack us. To deal with non-creature threats, we have Archon of the Triumvirate, Detention Sphere, Meteor Golem, and Return to Dust. These cards will prevent other combo decks from going off while we stall towards our win. Additionally, we have a Counterspell Suite comprised of Counterspell, Judge's Familiar, Lavinia Azorius Renegade, Render Silent, Swift Silence, an unbreakable formation, which can effectively counter a sweeper. To help us dig for our approach, allocators, or dovescape, we're going to be running draw effects such as Augury Adept, Court Hussar, and Asperia Supreme Judge. I also allow to have a lot of instant speed draw paired with our removal so that I can utilize mana when people learn to not attack me. Included as instant speed draw, we have Brainstorm, Ocular Halo, Sphinx's Insight, Sphinx's Revelation, and Verity Circle. So if we're in a position to play draw go, we can keep our mana open, threatening to remove any threat that comes towards us, and if nothing does, we can then use that mana to draw additional cards. Finally, our utility package is some uncategorized flicker targets, including Archaeomancer, allowing us to bounce some of our removal or draw spells back to our hands, Azorius Herald, allowing us to gain additional life, New Prov Guild Mage, who can be used to give some of our creatures flying, or possibly detain a threat, and Stonehorn Dignitary, who can fog one of our opponents each time he's flickered, thus negating their ability to attack us entirely. So you can see this flickering Pillifor deck is built around the concept of stalling long enough to reach Approach or Azor's Allocutors, deterring attacks with a strong removal suite, and a large derpy bird air force. Our lands have not changed very much from the guild kit, which include a pile of islands, plains, some Azorius Chancery, and Azorius Guildgates. We've also added in a Halmar Deaths, allowing us an element of manipulating our top deck. 
All right, so that wraps up this Azorius Pillowford Budget Deck Tech. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below, and be sure to check out the description for the other Guild Kit Deck Tech upgrades. Hit the like button if you want to see more deck techs like this, and subscribe if you want to get a notification when the gameplay using this list comes out next week. All right, guys, I'm Shannon the Timmy from the Trinisphere, signing off. As always, it's not about winning, it's about sending a message.